What's up? I'm Matt. Matt Brock. This is Guitar World Tech Education. And today I'm going to show you how to check a speaker cone to see if it's properly functioning or if it's rubbing. And some of you may know about this and some of you may not know about this. But a rubbing speaker is a bad thing because it produces uh, unwanted distortion and it doesn't replicate your sound naturally the way it's supposed to. I have an example here of a cone that needs to be reseated, centered, or reconed, um, and I have an example that doesn't. The way that you do this is you take a speaker and you, you mount it flat or you sit it flat and you want to flex the cone up and down, straight up and down. So take the cone and you grab it underneath and you grab it on top at the same place and you just want to lift the cone gently up and down. Now when I do this, you'll hear a shh, shh. Okay, that means the coil is rubbing. The cone and the coil are rubbing, and that means that this speaker needs a recon. The difference between a proper working speaker and this, which is not proper, is that when I do the same thing, it's silent, okay? It's a good idea to spin it, Check it again because sometimes you'll have rub spots only in certain places that won't show up. So you want to do this to the whole cone. So this cone is cool. It's ready to go. And the other thing I want to show you today is measuring the impedance of a speaker. So this speaker should be a 16 ohm speaker. And what I'm going to do is use my digital multimeter. I'm going to turn it to uh, impedance. You'll see this symbol on the back of your cabinets, on the back of your amplifiers. That's the symbol for impedance. Okay. I'm going to set up my meter. I'm going to take my probes, turn the black probe to the negative terminal. I know which terminal is which because the positive terminal has a red dot for my red probe. And I'm looking at this on the meter and it's reading 13.2. Now this is supposed to be a 16 ohm speaker. <clears throat> In reality it's measuring uh, right around 13. That's okay. It sounds weird but that's okay. A lot of speakers that are 16 ohm will meter less than 16 ohm. Um, same with an 8 ohm speaker. If you meter an 8 ohm speaker you might get 6 or 7 ohms out of it. But that's okay. That's just the way it is and uh, that's how you meter a speaker and that's how you test a cone to make sure that your speakers are rocking. See you next time.